Oxido Lumen was based on a collection of Mesopotamian clay tablets. They were first discovered by the son of a goat herder in the Zagros Mountains in the year 1508. Many souls had given their lives to protect the secrets of the scriptures. Naively, the young boy assumed he had discovered a tomb brimming with treasures, but his father knew better. No one would be able to read the tablets for centuries, but they held a power of great importance. They struck the curiosity of a wealthy Italian silk merchant from Florence. He purchased the tablets and returned with them to Europe. It was the Renaissance, of course, and such curiosities greatly increased one's stature. It also brought unwise attention. Murdered whilst he slept, the merchant's warehouses were torched and the tablets taken. Somehow the tablets survived and showed up years later in England in the possession of Queen Elizabeth I. But it was not long before they were stolen by a young lady-in-waiting and in 1608 sold them to Rabbi Avigdor Levy in the ghetto of Metz in Lorraine, France. Rabbi Levy was a man of rare talent. He spent decades deciphering the tablets, which drove him to madness. He compiled them into a manuscript which he bound in solid silver. This was the Oxido Lumen. The rabbi presented the book as a gift to King Louis XIV. Horrified at its lurid content, the king imprisoned Rabbi Levy and ordered the book to be burnt. It was not. The book was saved by the king's mistress, Madame de Montespan, who was a follower of the occult. But as with many temporary owners of the book, she too came to a bloody end. For centuries, the cursed book passed from hand to hand, and in its wake lay a trail of death and corruption. It was last seen in 1825, listed as one of the curiosities in the Fonthill Abbey Library of the London reprobate William Beckford. But when the central tower collapsed, destroying the treasures within, the lumen became nothing more than a myth.